Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at HP printers and Google Cloud Print because I have a lot of folks who write in who have an Android device or a Chrome OS device and they want to be able to print from it and they often have a hard time getting their Chromebook to print or their uh, Android device to print easily to their printer. Now HP does have guidance for this on their website, but I found it often tries to direct you uh, towards installing one of their apps or uh, using something that only works on your own network. And these printers, most of the new ones at any rate, uh, do support the Google Cloud Print protocol, which lets you print remotely over the internet. And it doesn't matter if you're home or not, it'll just print out and it works really, really well. And I wanted to show you how to get that set up because there's actually a different way of going about it than just using uh, your device. And uh, it might be a little tricky. So I wanna show you how it's gonna work on this particular printer here. This is a uh, HP 4650, but uh, what you see here should be uh, kind of transferable to other HP products. The same conventions here will apply. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, my close-up view of my particular device's screen because what we need to do first is get the local IP address of your device. And the easiest way to do that is to pull up the Wi-Fi menu on your printer uh, and it'll tell you right here uh, what that is. So 192.168.1.49. Now, if for some reason you don't have a screen on your printer or not getting uh, what you're looking for, uh, you can pull up your Android phone here and uh, load up your uh, little all-in-one application and have it go out and search for printers. And we'll also uh, find your HP printer over that and let you know what the IP address is for it. Okay, now that we have our IP address, we're going to type it into a web browser on a computer. That computer needs to be on the same network as your printer is, at least at the outset here. So uh, do it from home uh, with your laptop or computer that is on the same network as your printer. And when I connect to that web address, it's actually going to bring us to the printer's web server. It actually has a little web server that runs uh, inside of it. And what you want to look for here is the network option. There's actually a lot of cool stuff you can play with on here, but the network option is what we want to look at here. Uh, we're going to go down to Google Cloud Print down here at the bottom and click on Setup. Now you're going to get a warning here about the security certificate. Uh, normally, if you see something like this uh, on the internet, you definitely want to uh, not go to the website of that site you're trying to connect to. But in this instance, uh, this is not a problem because basically what's happening here is that the browser is looking for a valid security security certificate. Uh, this printer doesn't have a security certificate registered with the powers that be. Uh, it's not insecure. It's okay. Uh, so you can go ahead and override that on Google Chrome, which is what I'm using here. Uh, if you go into advanced and then just proceed to that address, uh, it will then let you through. So you, different browsers will have different uh, options for bypassing that feature. You don't want to ever do that anywhere else, but uh, here it is okay. Uh, so the next step is we want to print out a claim sheet. And uh, what this will do is go ahead and print out a page that we're going to use to give to Google uh, to let us know that uh, this printer would like to connect up with our Google account. So I'm gonna let that print here real quick. And when it's done, we will go ahead and connect to Google and get the rest of the process going. All right, so here is our cloud print confirmation form. We have 15 minutes after this is printed uh, to go to this address and get this printer registered. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, log into that screen real quick. You're gonna see a button that says finish uh, printer registration. And uh, when you click on that, it will then uh, send a confirmation back to Google and you'll get a little note here that says, thanks, you're ready to go. And a confirmation page is going to print out. So we got the uh, confirmation here uh, and the page here will print to let us know that we are now official with Google Cloud Print. Uh, just know that if you are on the monthly subscription plan for your HP printer, all these pages coming out are going to count against your allocation, including this short one here as well. But I got the page here that says uh, we are good to go. And now uh, we should be able to see this printer on some of our Android devices as well as our Chrome OS devices. So I'm gonna load up my phone right now and try to print something out from it over the internet. All right, so we're gonna start off printing a document from Google Docs on my Android device here. So I'm going to go up into the upper right-hand corner, tap on Share and Export, and go to Print. And what we're gonna see now is uh, we have the Office Jet 4650 showing up as an available option here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, click on Office Jet 4050. It's finding it both on my Google account and locally because we are on the same network right now. And then I'm going to tap on print. And what'll happen is, is it will uh, find our printer over the internet essentially here and start printing. So there we go. The printing option has begun and I can switch over to our uh, 
printer here and you can see that page now come out uh, and I can be printing this really from anywhere in the world at this point. So we kind of have like a modern incarnation of faxing. Uh, now likewise, if I was on a Chrome OS device, I don't have a Chromebook with me at the moment, but this is exactly the kind of thing you will see if you were printing from a Chromebook. I can go ahead and uh, select the print option here. And what we're gonna see on uh, the available printers that are available to us in the Google Cloud Print section of our Chromebook will be our HP OfficeJet. I can go ahead and tap on that. Uh, right now it's going to print in black and white, which is fine. Of course, I could change that to color if I wanted to, and then click on print. And again, this will come down uh, over the internet into our printer. Now, HP does have extensions that will do this as well, but I often like working with Google's cloud services because they tend to work best with the Google apps that I use the most. So if you are using Google Docs quite a bit and you really want to be able to get uh, things spit out of your Android device or your uh, Chromebook very easily, uh, this is probably the best way to get things set up and printed uh, without having to futz around with a lot of stuff. There is a little bit of setup to get that going, but you can do it uh, strictly through Google Cloud Print if you don't want to use HP's extensions. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.